Hello everyone, this is Richard from Modern Healthspan. Today we'll look at a clinical study of astaxanthin on elderly patients and whether it helps with endurance and muscle strength. The write-up is from this paper, Impacts of Astaxanthin Supplementation on Walking Capacity by Reducing Oxidative Stress in Nursing Home Residents. Oxidative stress is associated with reduced endurance and strength in aging. Continuous exercise has been shown to reduce oxidative stress, but older adults are more prone to injury and heart events. Health problems, pain, and their physical environment may also restrict their ability to exercise, hence the desire to find an alternative to reduce oxidative stress. Astaxanthin is a known antioxidant, and in this trial, they looked at whether supplementing with it could improve participants' walking endurance and muscle strength. The participants were healthy, aged between 67 and 94, and 13 in the astaxanthin group and 11 in the placebo group. 24 milligrams of astaxanthin was taken daily in the morning and evening for 16 weeks. They all lived in a community and had a standard meal set, which removed food as one of the variables. The tests used were body composition, serum DROM level, which is a measure of oxidative stress, with the six-minute walk test, blood lactate levels after the walking test, and muscle strength. The levels of DROM and lactate after walking test significantly decreased, and the walking distance was significantly higher in the astaxanthin group, even though they had less lactate. However, there was no change in muscle mass or strength. The conclusion is that astaxanthin is effective in increasing endurance in the elderly and suppresses oxidative stress and lactate, but did not help muscle mass or strength. So most likely the effect was an increase in endurance. Astaxanthin is a red carotenoid that comes from algae and is also present in salmon, krill and shrimp. It has various beneficial effects, including preventing cancer by anti-proliferation and muscle atrophy by anti-apoptosis and being anti-inflammatory. It is also an excellent antioxidant. The DROM test is a blood test which measures oxidative stress. It is a proprietary test offered by Invernatics and measures the level of hydroperoxides in the blood. The unit of measure is the car after the person who first developed the test, Dr. Caratelli. The reference values are shown here with lower being better as it shows lower levels of oxidative stress and normal being between 250 and 300. Here are the results, starting with the changes in the DROMs from the initial test at the start of the trial and the final test after 16 weeks. The tests were done before the six minute walk test. The placebo group value increased slightly from 346 to 366. The value for the astaxanthin group was 331 at the start, but had reduced to 292 by the end, which was a significant decline with a p-value of 0.05. Putting it into the normal range as defined by the test, we can see that the participants' oxidative stress was above the reference range at the beginning of the trial, though those who took astaxanthin were within range at the end. Looking at the six-minute walk test, which is a measure of how far the participant can walk in six minutes from a standing start. We see that the placebo group decreased from 326 to 314 meters, whereas the astaxanthin group started at 333 meters and were able to cover 371 at the end of the trial. This was also a significant increase. Lactate is increased when we exercise and is one of the causes of fatigue. Here are the results for a change in lactate levels during the six-minute walk test. The placebo group went from 100% to 116.7%, while the astaxanthin group reduced from 122.2% to 90.0. The scales are different in the two graphs, so the results don't line up. Here is the 100% line on both graphs, so you can more easily compare them. When testing the strength, they found no significant difference in either the placebo or the astaxanthin groups. Because there was no change in the strength, but an improvement in the walking speed and a reduction of lactate, the authors proposed that the benefit came from improved energy metabolism, leading to lower lactate levels and less fatigue. 
The study was quite small, but addresses an interesting question. When, for whatever reason, it becomes difficult to exercise, are there other options? It would also be great to know what impact astaxanthin has with exercise. Would it be additive or not? Hopefully this will be investigated. Thank you for your attention and I will speak to you again soon. <music>